Hi everybody! Welcome! Today I'm going to be showing you a really nice, easy, like, day look. Um, so this is what it looks like, if you'd like to see. Um, so, yeah, stick around. So we're gonna start today with this uh, Maybelline Pure BB Cream. It's the one with the blue cap with the matte top. Um, it does a really great job. Is My acne has actually gone down since I started using it. I mean, entirely like same skincare routine, but just less acne, which is nice. Because I'm... yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I spread a little bit back of my hand, as you can see. Um, it is... it looks actually considerably more like my skin tone than the other BB cream, the one with the... The one with the white, it looks considerably better than the one with the white top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Sigma, Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. I'm going to dab it in, as you can see. Just, it's real quick. It's like, this is what I do like almost every morning before I go to work. Um, your face will look really shiny before it dries. That's one of the downsides. So like, you'll think it's not like nearly matte, but it really is, so... I beat up my face with this brush. I beat up this brush. I beat up a $21 brush. Honestly, it works better to kind of buff it. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this NARS concealer. Um, honestly, I searched for through all of Sephora and all I found was this one thing of NARS that worked. So, I'm really happy because it's good. So, I'm going to do just some here, some here for my ridiculous nose. Nike says go. Okay. So then I've got a couple of problem spots which are easy enough to cover up. So then you can either take the brush, which you can do. See, it does really nice it does a really nice job of like the highlighting stuff. But if you want the concealing stuff, you really want to go in with your finger and just kinda of dab. That's what I do. I dab and then I'll go back in with this and then brush it a little bit to get the all like the outside excess off, okay? It just does a really nice job of blending all this out. Bye bye Nike. It does a really great job, I'm not close enough to the camera, of blending all this out. Can y'all see that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm a highly freckled person. I'm a highly freckled person, so um, finding foundations is kind of difficult. So I really like the BB creams because they don't like completely cover my freckles, but they still do like, it still does the job of a foundation or of a BB cream. What I'm going to do next is my eyebrows. They're a big pain in the butt. I'm just going to go in really quickly and just go like whoop, have a little bit of an arch, a little bit of a start, a little bit of a shape. This one, like, I have to do... Tons with thing on. Now what I'm gonna do before I move on to the eyes is I'm gonna just take a normal like chapstick because um, you especially want to do this one the lip product you'll use later is really dry, uh, which it is. So um, which the one I'm gonna show you guys is. So I'm just gonna take chapstick classic. Uh, oh, it's got SPF four. It's got a whole four SPF. Um, just hit my lips with it real quick. Feels nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do. Um, eye makeup. And normally what I'll do on a regular day basis is I'll go in with a primer and go in there. What I use is this. It's the Urban Decay uh, Original. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Naked Palette, which is literally the product I use probably most ever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this shade called Toasted. Can you see? Toasted! I can't really put it on without singing. Um, so I will refrain for you guys. You're welcome. I'm going to take this toasted and I'm going right in the crease. In the outer crease. Make sure you get it all up in there. If you get it a little on top, it's okay. It's not like a prim and proper look. It's like you have to see your co-workers look. So grab it in the other one. Good. It just kind of adds definite. It adds definition to your eyes. There we go. So what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to go in with the Naked brush that they provide is actually a really, like, okay brush. Like, it's much better than the one that, like, Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals has got. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take Naked, the namesake shade, that one, oh yeah. Now I'm going to take Naked, 
that one. Um, and I'm going to kind of dust it above-ish, right in the middle here. You see? Good. Now, uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my favorite shade out of this palette, Half Baked. It's this really light and glittery one right here. I'm going to go in with Half Baked on this brush, and it's a flat brush, and just spread that literally all over my lid. Inside corner to outside corner. It depends how much you want to put on. If you want to put on a lot, it'll end up extra glittery, which I do love some days. But for now, I'm just going to keep it a little bit toned down tone down. It's like a bright yellow gold. Um, okay. See? Lovely. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is now if I was going for an evening look, I would be using um, like a darker red shade, but since it's an easy day look, um, I'm going to take... Lights just flash? I'll look at that later. I'm going to take Naked on this blending brush. This is from uh, Real Techniques. It's a domed shadow brush, and I'm going to take it, I'm just going to use it to blend. Just blend it into that naked that's already there. Just blend everything together. Okay, so, what I'm going to do now is eyeliner. I've got this great, um, it's from NYX, it's the, it's from NYX, I guess. Um, it's silver. But it's literally bright silver. I bought it expecting it to be gray because I didn't open it. Even though it said silver, I was expecting it to be gray because you don't really see silver much. So it lasts pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that under this eye. And also under the other eye. Don't do one and not the other, please. Thank you. You're not a movie star. Movie stars don't do that. Never mind. It just kind of opens them up a little bit more. So now I'm going to go in on the top with black. You can go in with every color you want. If you want to go with brown, it also looks really nice. But i got to get the black to open my eyes up a little bit. This is just like a generic. I think I got this in a kit. So this one's actually more of like a charcoal than a black. It's not like black black. So this is kind of what makes this look kind of unique. Um, I'm going to go in with the Flirt All That Lash Volumizing Mascara. It comes like this. But I'm going to go in with it in their shade 3 Kick in Blue. It just kind of, you don't have to do blue. You can definitely do black if you want. Um, or like any color you want for the uh, mascara portion. I wouldn't, if you do black eyeliner, I wouldn't do like brown mascara, but you can do vice versa. But, um, so I'm going to take the blue, it just kind of softens the black a little bit, so it's not as like, hi. So, um, you can't really tell it's blue, unless, like, you're looking directly at it. Like, sometimes people will notice, but sometimes they won't. See? Good. Since it's a day look, I'm not going to do fakes. Um, I would, if I was transitioning this into like an evening look, I'd probably use less sparkle, um, more darker, like a darker shade to blend. Yeah, exactly. I forgot blush entirely. Blush doesn't exist in my world. Okay, so um, next step is blush. I've got here the... Okay, blush is next. Um, I've got this blush from the Balm. It's super duper cute. Um, Argyle might be the color name. I'm not 100% sure. Wear it well. Uva bien. Uva bien. We are not. I don't know. It's really nice. It's a really light pink. So I'm going to take it on this brush. Another, uh, okay, so the e.l.f. brushes, the larger ones than this, shed really bad. But this one does not. So I'm literally just going to take it right here. Brush it back and forth. You see that there's a little bit of color, but it's not too much that it's like overpowering. Just kind of on the bottom sides of my cheekbones. Kind of gives your face like a little more sculpt out to it. Now, I don't do any type of like bronzer during the day because bronzer on me looks really bad unless I like spend a lot of time on it. So I'm not going to do bronzer. I'm just going to move straight on the lips. So I'm a really huge fan of like matte. So I bought this 
Revlon Color Burst. It's the one that Emma Stone has been repping. Um, I bought one of these. I bought the... I bought one of these. I bought the Revlon this color. Um, it doesn't look as good on me, but I still really love it. I bought the Unapologetic Sans Remords. The Unapologetic. I don't know why I said that. But this is the shade that I honestly like the most. I have these two in the matte, and then I've also got other shades in different, like this one's the Balm Stain. So I'm going to go in with this, and I normally line my lips first. Just a really nice pink nude. See? And there you go. You've got your nice day look. So thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button or you can hit the, the like button would be really nice in my pants down there. Thank you.